start. Rolling? All right, this is my buddy Max. He is a Border Terrier mix. In this video, I'm gonna go over the engage disengage game. This is a great game that you can do if you have a dog that likes to bark at other people, um, or dogs, or bicycles, or anything. It teaches them first to look at the object, and then eventually it teaches them to look away from the object. Now, in order to do this, I'm gonna use a clicker, and uh, if you're gonna use a clicker, you need to make sure that you have primed or loaded the clicker, which is to make a classically conditioned response. Max. So all you have to do to prime the load of the clicker is you're gonna click once, wait for him to get done chewing, and then offer him a treat. You wanna prime or load the clicker about, I think about three to five times. So the click is followed within two seconds of getting a re uh, reward. Now you could also go and drop it on the ground. I usually just give it to him directly. So um, you wanna do this until basically, you wanna make sure the dog doesn't, uh, isn't fearful of the clicker. Now there's another dog in the house, uh, Bessie, and Bessie, I'm guessing the clicker might be scary for her. So if you see her jump, what I'd like you to do is have one of you with that clicker I gave you, like over by the refrigerator, and then one of you over here with Bessie. And then bas basically one of you would, the person in the refrigerator would click, and then over here would give her the treat, and gradually get closer and closer. But a lot of people, I'd like, hold it right here and click, and that scares the dog. Do we want this to be a positive sound, not a negative sound? So, um, let's see here. The idea is when the dog hears a click, it's gonna look up at you, and the click is to indicate when the dog does what you want. I'm gonna prime it a couple more times, and I'll give you an example of a sit. Now, he already knows how to sit. Oh, one other thing you don't ever wanna do is it's not remote control. <laughs> and also, when you click, be consistent. Don't click like, well, don't do that one time, and the next time go. That's a different sound to a dog, so be consistent. You're liking this, huh? You need better treats when we start playing the other game. All right, now if I want to click, and the click is for the action that you're looking for. So I'm gonna ask him for a sit. When he sits, I'm gonna click, and then he's gonna get a treat. Sit. So the click is really kind of a, some, as a tool that we use to help the dog understand, because we, we, we need to have good timing. When you're gonna use a cue, what a lot of people refer, refer to as a command word, if I say sit, and he doesn't know what sit is, it, it, he's standing, so it's out of context. So what I do instead is uh, lure him into a sit with a gesture. Sit. I click when his butt hits the ground, then he gets a treat. If you're teaching a dog to lay down, when the chest hits the ground, you click, give him a treat. Coming to you, he's a foot away from you, click, and then give him a treat. All right, we're about, there you go. All right, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna, I guess I'll load the rest of these. Good thing you didn't eat dinner, how about it? Now I'm gonna switch over to a higher value treat and we should get a bit of, bit of different response from it. Yeah, those are chewy, huh? Okay, so what we're gonna do for the engage-disengage game is it's best if you can in, uh, control the stimulus. And the stimulus that's one of the members of the family is I'm gonna have him stand over at the door. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have, we're gonna switch positions, the camera's gonna be over here so you're gonna be able to see this angle. So what I'm gonna do is wait for him to look. As soon as he looks, the instant he looks at the other guardian, I'm gonna click, then I'm gonna give him a treat. And then I'm gonna have the guardian take one step to kind of reattract Max's attention. As soon as Max looks at him again, I'm gonna click. This is the first stage. We'll talk about the second stage here in a second. All right, let's go ahead and have the camera come over here. You're gonna go ahead and go to the, uh, the door. The dog doesn't have to be sitting. I'm gonna have him sit just for the demonstration purposes of this a video. So come here, Max, sit. All right, go ahead and just uh, move a little bit. There you go. And what we should see eventually is Max snapping his head around. Go ahead and move again. So for you guys, you have this busy street. You can do this through your glass door with people walking by. See how quickly he's disengaging and looking at. Now, if, he's bar if your dog is barking or reacting or growling when you're doing this, you're too close. You want to find a distance where the two tests for I have, can I get the dog to sit pretty easily and will he take a treat? If he won't sit or won't take a treat, you're probably too close. And also it depends on the stimulus outside. If you have somebody walking by, that's going to be different than if you have somebody sprinting by or people being really boisterous. Yeah, you've got to ignore Bessie. <laughs> sit. Come here, buddy. All right, go ahead and make a movement. So the first stage is to continue doing this at whatever the distance is. So for you guys, I would say the distance, well, that was bad. Uh, I don't think you looked. You just have to go in that direction. Come here, buddy. 
Um, you want to, uh, and so for you guys, your sidewalk is a, is a good distance. So you can control it by having him right at the door, and that's a certain distance. Or if that's too reactive, you can take a couple steps away and be where your carpet is uh, instead. So you want to you want to moderate the distance so the dog doesn't have to sit. All right, move again. So you want to do this until your dog is pretty much as soon as go ahead, move again. So your dog is basically looking at you right away and try not to drop the treat like I just did there. This is the first stage. So you want to have at least five times in a row at that distance where the stimulus moves, he looks at it, and then you click and he looks up at you right away. That's the first stage. All right, the second stage, is, and that's to get him to look at the object and recognize that the object actually means I'm about to get a treat. It's a precedent. So when I see something move, I'm, and then I look, uh, then I meant for looking at it, I get a treat. The second stage, let's get you over here. We want better camera presence. I want backside of Max. <laughs> Sit. Come here. Sit. There you go. All right, move again. Move again. And if he doesn't look at you, keep moving until he looks at you. Go ahead and move again. So what we're doing is I'm warming him up. This is a lot faster than you normally you're doing it. All right, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and move again. This is stage two. One, two, three, four, five. Max. So now I'm rewarding him for looking away. Now, when you do this enough, after enough repetition, he's going to start getting a habit. If I look at there and then I turn away because he's hearing the click and he's turning away from the stimulus, in this case, the other guardian. So this is stage two, where we're teaching the dog First of all, we made it a situation where the thing moving was a positive. Now I look at the thing, and because I practice enough, after a couple seconds, I just turn to look away because I'm in a habit of doing that. So now, instead of the dog barking at the thing, they're disengaging. Let's try, get, let's try that a couple more times. Sit. Sit. And look how much great focus he has. Normally, he'd be over there for that. All right, go ahead and move again. One, two. One, two. This is a lot faster than you normally will get. Go ahead and move again. One, two, three, four. So when he looks away is when you're going to click. The first stage you click when he looks at it, and then he's going to, the click is going to cause him to look at you. And you keep on doing that until you click and he's just looking up right away. And you get five of those in a row at that distance, then you're going to, then you can go to the second stage. Now technically, I would want to actually do it also from this, that side, from this side, from across the street, usually you want to have it, you want to practice the same distance all the way around it. In you guys' case, because they're territorial with your house, you can do a lot of it here, but I also try to do it outside, maybe on the sides of your house, so you're having a look at look there as well. Uh, and then the second stage is he looks at it, and, you, and I'm counting out loud for demonstration purposes, you're normally not going to count, you're just going to count your head. So he looks, and you go one, two, three, so he looks at you, click, and then you give him that treat. And what you'll find is eventually he'll look at it and he'll start automatically looking away from things that right now they normally bark at, react to. Now this is, the guardians uh, don't really have a lot of guests over because it's corona, uh, but because of how the dogs behave. I would do this with only one dog at a time, the other dog I would have outside. I would also make sure I exercise the dog beforehand, but don't overdo it. Um, a Goldilocks amount of exercise, I like to say. Not too much, not too little. I would have a leash just so you can control him from running there and running around because uh, that will slow down your progress and you'll get frustrated with this. Um, and eventually what I would do is the guest that you're going to eventually have come in the house that I talked about off camera about having them practice being around a guest, I would do this with the guest first, maybe two or three visits. So now the dog's like, man, I look at this guest and then I get a treat. So you would start with the guest on the sidewalk and when you can get to the second stage of the guest moving on the sidewalk, then you have the guest taking one, uh, taking one step in so they're walking inside your lawn, right inside the sidewalk, and practice there again. And then eventually you work your way up to the point where they're right outside your door, they look at it, and they're looking away, you click, and then they get that treat. Maxie, come here. Sit. This is my buddy Max, and this is how you can play the engage-disengage game for dogs that like to bark at guests, skateboards, bicycles, anything you want.